Okay, so Lana, I'm going to question 2 from a 2017 question paper in physical sciences. So, um, Lana's a problem here work energy and power. So, if you look at the diagram below, a small object of mass 2 kg is sliding at a constant at a constant velocity of 1.5 meters per second down a rough plane inclined at 7 degrees to the horizontal. So the key word, Lana, is constant velocity. This statement or this phrase, Lena, it's key in this problem. That's why I was by underline. So constant velocity, according to Newton's first law, EF net to E by equal to zero. So this is the problem, Lana. So I wanna on the on the sketch you could on the incline initially the object be initially the object be incline plane but the air slider downwards and I was convinced any force la a influence on the motion of the object. So as you assume would be well I guess assume well the only force a tire or the only force a influence motion la it's the weight it's the weight of that object. So, yeah, it's a real statement. City at the bottom of the plane, the object continues sliding onto the rough horizontal surface and eventually comes to a stop. So now you figure out at the bottom, this box or this object, the object here slide up to a point where you figure it's a stop. As as we just stop a la or la, but just stop a somewhere along the way. Now. Statement, city. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the object and the surface is the same for both the inclined surface and the horizontal surface. Right? Now, 2.1. Good 2.1, but I write down the magnitude of the net force acting on the object. So I think he saying she is the answer for this. For this question 2.1 f net was over equal to zero newtons why because the object here to move at a constant velocity and the first law newton first law would be if an object is traveling at a constant velocity the external force is acting the sum of the external forces acting on that object must equate to zero Okay, 2.2. 2.2, but you draw a label free body diagram for the object while it's while it is on the inclined plane. So the object on its inclined plane, the free body diagram is on So F net the weight of the object W or my seven so FG as well as what? the gravity sorry not the gravitational force but the frictional force so as it slides down it will be on a rough plane so it's expected to be in the friction and then the force that's perpendicular to the surface the normal force as well as the weight right as well as the weight now since you are going to question get my 2.3 calculate the the first question it is the magnitude of the frictional force acting on the object while it is sliding down the inclined plane. 2.3, 2 2.3.1. 2 now, 2.3.1, as we are back to the label free body diagram here. To let free body diagram here, to see, I want to go to the weight here too. It's over nani, number components. Over the weight here to echo perpendicular to the surface, but it's at an angle, so is a is a pull is a pumanani nama components like seven degrees so banani no weight perpendicular component and I think seven said dotted line no weight parallel component. So over the object it's going this way, the object the mover in this direction so the my force is lower the weight parallel as well as the frictional force as a cancel 
besa inzelo object move at a constant velocity. So nga maya maka maktazo guti u frictional force kashe kashe is equal to what the component the parallel component for the weight. And so what is calculated in the frictional the magnitude of the frictional force and lama forces law come be equal the weight the parallel component of the weight must be equal to the frictional force in order to be given a constant velocity so the frictional force some calculator ngani alendlela le so the weight parallel component is over equal to the frictional force so is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration times sine 7 degrees equal to what's the mass it's 2 gram gravitational acceleration it's 9.8 times sine 7 degrees answer it to your bobani 2 times 9.8 times sine 7 degrees is 2.8 uh, no, no, two comma three nine three nine in two decimal places it's Newton upward and so it's opposing motion yeah? it's opposing any emotion so this is our answer see pendulili question it this is our final answer 2.3.2 the next question it calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction between the object and the surfaces so the kinetic friction the coefficient of kinetic friction mu k mu k is common for both lama surfaces law common from the statement but this is the it, coefficient of kinetic friction is the same for both the inclined surface and the horizontal surface so the only way of calculating a frictional in mu case is what thing a frictional force as well as the normal force in normal force yale object na ingabe ihleli la ku incline ngakhona ku calculate right ngakhona ku calculate ngobe normal force is, is equal to what the weight the perpendicular component for the weight Let's say again, the frictional force is that we calculate how much. Let's say you can the formula. Let's get the formula sheet. Okay. This is the formula sheet. See, I've worked from the formula sheet. Um, mu k. Sorry, man. The frictional force. Kinetic friction is equal to mu k times normal force. Ne? The frictional force or a seven to k instead the, the kinetic frictional force is equal to mu mu k times the normal force ne? and the frictional force that we calculate on the previous question and as funobani um mu k in normal force and i calculate and over is equal to what the normal the, sorry the normal force is equal to the perpendicular component for the weight so is equal to mu k normal force is equal to w perpendicular u f k weight which is 2 comma 3 9 equal to mu k unknown nyo, times mass times gravitational acceleration cos 7 degrees 2 comma 3 9 and 2 comma 39 is equal to um mu k ang na so substitute ala now what's the mass it's 2 9,8 cos 7 degrees 2,39 so divide both sides or 2 9,8 cos 7 degrees and up no mu k equal to 2,39 all divided by 2 Remember, divide up both sides in this part. So, so end up on 9,8 cos 7 degrees. So, mu k is equal to mu k is equal to 2,39 divided by 2 cos 7 degrees. Answer it with 0, 
one two in two decimal places so we answer it here later again okay so now for the final question the final question the final question the final question final question here to eat it 2.3 2.3.3 calculate the distance the object travels on the horizontal surface before it comes to a stop yeah spell it back to the sketch set so it's 2.3.3 yeah? the surface here it is the horizontal surface the inclined surface yeah? so tinas is of tinas for the distance between the object where it's resting f equal to zero the final velocity about zero now we are resting so for now this distance just before well just after the object it get to pumagulogagu incline just after it get to pumagu incline surface basically the horizontal surface so at the bottom of the incline the initial velocity of the object is over equal to one comma five meters per second two kilogram two kilogram so at the bottom of the incline the object now figure is a figure with an initial velocity of one comma five. This is a cubic cubic up to a point where you figure e zani yeah rest. So tinas funa this distance between at the bottom of the incline and the resting position. So from this scenario, this is a bonuti ilogangi e e formula so is seven size the work energy theorem over unani unama velocity la so so seven sa this formula at work net is equal to the change in kinetic energy the work energy theorem so seven sa the work energy theorem so the work energy theorem so seven sa yo nagila so kuzo ba yini kuzo ba f times delta x times cos theta which is the formula for work is equal to k final minus k initial but to k final is about zero will be final velocity i'm over zero so it's going to be minus half mv initial squared lap yeah? so lana goes over delta x cos a hundred and eighty degrees. The reason it is a hundred and eighty degrees, it's because <laughs> it's because the only force a tile la ubani. It's the kinetic friction. Kinetic friction it's and it's opposing any emotion. Remember the object here to ifunugia in this direction, but there's only one force a tile which is what? The kinetic friction and it's opposing what emotion. So that's why in seven two hundred and eighty degrees. So now, lo f lo na ng funo tinanga ng funo ng ng discuss it tinen. That's why ng tinanga ng balala. Ne, this f is the it's what it's the kinetic friction. Ang is bag the frictional force the magnitude of the frictional force yala. Ang yung ifan na the magnitude of the frictional force yala. The reason behind is that. Also, kumbole, if frictional force here to, if kinetic frictional force here to, see calculate ang ani, um, mu k times normal force. And then, uh, in normal force yah la, I find na li normal force yah la, right? Igu pili ah, okay, na. So this is the free body diagram yah the object on the incline. So si te ni. The normal force is equal to the weight component, la. Ne? But in this in this scenario, on the horizontal surface, ne? This is the horizontal surface. Now the normal force is equal to what? Fg. Normal force here is over equal to what? Fg, man. Ne? This is horizontal surface, and the lo 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 g lo lo Fg, it's the full weight of the object, ne? 
but on the previous previously the time you go incline E, e normal force was equal to the weight component that's perpendicular to the surface and the le magnitude le i find in the magnitude le that's why it am a kinetic friction yeah la and you find in the kinetic friction yeah la so come let's see calculate it girl so so the fk fk is equal to what mu k times normal force so the normal force come let's see is over equal to what the full weight of the object so mu k is that um calculated it's one comma sorry zero comma two times the normal force is equal to mg on the horizontal surface yeah? so times what's cos 180 it's minus one equal to half zero minus zero minus half mass it's two velocity is 1,5 squared so now multiply weight is about 0,12 mass of 2 9 cover 8 times by that's 1 <laughs> equal to negative half times 2 times 1,5 squared it's 2,25 and then um nothing left or something yes 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 so the look delta x yeah we look 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 okay delta x for two zoba lana i think we squeeze it in loud delta x way to negative one so it's equal to that now so come in zeni i just calculated this in times in alena zero comma one two times two times times two times nine comma eight times minus one is equal to two com minus two comma three five two times delta x is equal to minus comma two five so we divide the both sides so minus two three five two minus two three five two so delta x is equal to uh, negative two comma two five divided by negative two comma three five two and say I'm mobile zero comma nine five okay I see so good three decimal places seven meters this is our final answer this is our final answer in there, yeah? so it's a work energy and power problem because it's since I need this apply in your work energy theorem so um i hope the video we enjoy it and just leave a thumbs up and then among you new to this channel just of course look subscribe because it's a good thing to do and uh yeah so catch up on the next video thanks for watching bye bye